Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, 2023, and welcome to ONN. I'm James. And I'm Harper, and here are today's top headlines. Today is National Read Aloud Day, so we have a special guest appearance by Miss Nicodine to read us a story. It's February, and that means it's Black History Month, and we've got another special guest here to help tell you all about it. That's right, it's the return of Singleton Sessions. But first, let's go to Vera with today's lunch menu. This is Vera with the lunch, and for today's lunch, it's a double prize Wednesday. We have Vera's specialty chicken and veggie pot stickers, or Miss L's favorite orange chicken. <clears throat> Either one comes with fried rice and steamed carrots. If you don't agree with Vera or Miss L's choices of favorite lunches, you can have a brunch kit. Either way, don't forget to pick up your fresh fruits, veggies, and milk. Thank you. Back to Harper. Thanks, Vera. World Read Out Loud Day is celebrated on the first Wednesday in February and takes place on February 1st this year. This is a day dedicated not just to reading, but to the art and practicing of reading out loud. Stories were passed down from generation to generation even before writing was invented. Oral forms of storytelling were the earliest ways of preserving human knowledge, insight, and creativity. This day helps us bring this tradition back to reading while promoting literacy. Join us for a story time with our principal, Miss Nicodine. Hey guys, today we are going to read Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with actions, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something just by being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, Say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You make me feel invisible. That really hurt. I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people, peace. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world is listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others. I hope, I believe, I wish, join us. Together we can. I'm ready to change the world, I imagine. But everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and then transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? Thanks for listening.
Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. I am Miss Singleton, and I am so excited that today is February 1st. It is the start of Black History Month. Good morning, Vera. I'm super excited to be sitting next to you this morning. <laughs> Good morning. So every February, millions of American children and adults learn about the achievements of African Americans. Schools, churches, and businesses celebrate African American culture and contributions during Black History Month. The nationwide event began with the work of African-American historian, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, known as the father of African-American history. Dr. Woodson wrote numerous books and articles in order to present a more accurate view of African-American history and accomplishments. In 1915, he co-founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History in Washington, D.C. The organization initiated Negro History Week in 1926, which evolved into Black History Month in 1976, the year that I was born. So somebody do the math on that. So starting tomorrow, I will be on every single day of the month and I will have a question. My question, well, I will have some information, a black history fact. So I'll have two sets of questions. They will be, uh, one, one set will be for K through two. The other set will be through for grades three through five. I will have baskets for all of you who are um, used to this. I'll have two baskets somewhere located in the library or maybe right outside the doors of the library. At any time you want to come down and put your questions in, you can. And then the next morning I will pull the um, questions out, select two correct answers, and then I will come to your classroom at some point in time that day to come and get you for a prize. And maybe your question could be on the news. Maybe. It is super exciting in February. Let me just say that, okay? Super exciting. I am so happy to be bringing back Singleton Sessions. And let's see what happens after February, okay? Everyone have a good day, and I will see you back again tomorrow. <music>
and sometimes they go on to join the NFL or other professional sports teams. It's pretty exciting for many high school as athletes, and some you might look forward to it if you're a football player. I'm Bella, but wait, I have another picture. It's from Jaken, and my favorite is the yellow one. Now, you can stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and the visible liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, no birthdays or good birthdays today, but someone special on February 1st is Langston Hughes. He wrote poems that could talk about being a black man in America. And people are still reading his famous words, even though he lived about 100 years ago. Happy birthday, Langston Hughes. Stay tuned for Beanstack Prize is coming right up tomorrow. And with that, I'm James Ferrana. Have a wonderful day. And I'm Harper Ferrana. Have a wonderful day.